Welcome back to Boomer's Playground. Today we'll be going over coding exercise 47, and this is going to be about the built-in method of map on arrays. So um, you probably did just go over a video, but like I always say, let's you know, let's just get some facts first, and let's let's just start getting into this habit because when you're in in the field or in the actual job, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be given something that you're not familiar with, and you are expected to go and figure out what it means. So starting early helps a lot. So, all right, so the map method creates a new array. So we're gonna have an array. So you'll see const map one, this is gonna be the new array um, with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. So that I do not expect a single, if you're watching this video, I do not expect you to understand what that means. And that's perfectly fine. So what it really means is you can either do some stuff or you could create a function and pass that function in. So um, we can go over both of those. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we have an array already that they're giving us. Um, so we're going to define a variable called first names and we're going to assign it to the result of mapping over the existing array that I just highlighted here so that first names contains only the first names of the characters from the full names array. Okay, so this one's pretty simple, right? So, yeah, okay. All right, so we got this and all right. First names variable set it equal to the return of oh map over full names giving oh, map over full names return first name back to first names variable. Okay, so let's do that guy, and we have that there. All right, so all right, so we'll do const first names, and then they kind of did equals, and then you do the map thing. Okay, cool. So array, oh, and so that'll be full names, and then we'll do dot map, and then we're gonna go the long way first. So I don't even oh, what did I do? Oh my lord. Full names. Dot map. And then we need to pass something into the callback. And then whatever we pass in is gonna be the value each time it loops each time it loops over the array. So map loops over every item in your array. So with X, the first time through X is one the second time through x is four, and so on and so on. So, um, well, let's just call it first, oh, let's just call it character. And then let's just see what it is. Okay, so we're looping over and each iteration we're getting one of the objects. And you'll see that they're separated by commas, so we could have inferred that but um, sometimes I really, really just like to make sure. Okay, so if this is an object and we want the first name, we should just be able to get it by doing that, right? Okay, sweet. Okay, so, all right, awesome. Let's see if this passes the test. Okay, and we'll see that it doesn't. So, um, okay, I did copy all this stuff over. Um, first name should contain only the first names from the full names array. So this test is actually looping over our first names array and just checking to see if it is or it is. So we gave it undefined um, and they were expecting this. So why did we give it undefined? 
Oh, uh, you know what? So we console logged it, so we see it here, but we didn't put it back in here. So the way you do that with a map, and even like dot map, dot filter, um, and some other ones, you would say return character dot first, and and again, like if you can, you know, if this is how you have to do it first, it's fine. So now what we're doing is, um, you know, per this, it says it creates a new array. And so the array is only going to contain whatever we return. So, all right, well, let's, uh, let's just do a quick sanity check and see what we got here. Okay, sweet. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's check this bad boy out. And let's hope this guy gets through. Awesome, and it did. So um, we could quit there, but I just want to point out a couple of things. So you might have watched this, and you might have seen this, and been like, well, it doesn't really look the same, right? It's kind of different. And um, one thing with, again, dot .map, dot .filter, um, dot .sum, dot .every, which I just learned about. I'm only re-recording these videos because I had the wrong resolution and you guys couldn't see any of my code so but with uh, like I said with like dot map um, dot filter some every a lot of these there is an implied return if you do it in one line so here even if we just do this we're not gonna get anything we get undefined 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 because it doesn't know what to give back to first name and so we have to specifically say, hey, this is the thing I want you to put, you know, in that array. So, and again, you know, remember, you could always have just done this. Or use the same stuff. So we get the correct answers. Um, so, yeah, so like I said, so if you, so for instance, like let's say we only cared about people um, who had, uh, you know, last name, or first names, um, let's see, where, so Ron, so four, four letters or less are the only people we care about, so Ron. So in that instance, you really can't do that in one line. Actually, I mean, yeah, you could. But, you know, let's say you had to do, like, a bunch of checks. So here, you know, we care, we want character dot first dot length is... Uh, less than four, we want to return character that first, and then if anything that doesn't match that, oh, actually, ugh. yeah, this is actually a bad example of this, uh, but the whole point is, if you have to do some checking, you're probably gonna have to do it here, but if you can figure out how to do it in um, in one line, you don't need the return. So here we just do character at first because that's all we care about. We still get the same thing. So that's why this one is in line because all you're doing is times everything by two. So there's really no point to put a whole block in there. But if you did put a block in there, if you did like this, you would have to return this or you would get a bunch of undefines. So. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next exercise.